Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Serie A jersey review. As you know Serie A is my favorite league and so the jersey review for Serie A is always my favorite one. I kept it for last of the big leagues that I'm reviewing that I've been doing reviews so far. Uh, not only keep best for last but also I know that Serie A more than any other league is likely to release jerseys uh, during the season later on I'm sure that during the editing process that one of the big teams is for sure gonna issue another special jersey so yeah wearing a jersey that Milan uh, became champions in so very happy about that but before we go a little bit further into the review I also would like to know from you where should I take the jersey reviews next I really would like to do one should I go to you know look at uh, the group stages of the three European competitions uh, and get a little bit more eclectic with uh, internationality and so on or should I do for the first time an Eredivisie or Liga Portugal jersey review um, where I don't have as many jerseys as I have for like Serie A or others but it could also be interesting to do so so please let, let me know in the comments below in any case all the jerseys that I'm gonna show you in here I will rate on a scale from 1 to 10 with 1 being the worst 10 being the best it's a very personal rating this is how I feel this jerseys and I try to do it as live as possible um, I also take all the pictures from Football Kit Archive, which is a, a web page. If you're interested in jerseys, that I can highly re recommend because you can see, look through the histories of most teams and also go league by league and see what is on offer there. Now, the way I decide on which team goes in which video, we have here 20 teams, which I split into four. So we have five teams in each video. I'll take last season standings, go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then the team is assigned to the video and so Napoli we have Roma so Terbi della Sole all ready ready there then we have Sassuolo and Empoli and we have tiny Cremonese as well and since as always I sort them alphabetically by the way I call the teams We'll start at the newly promoted Cremonese, which is not a team that I have expected ever to make it up into Serie A. But hey, here we are, right in the year where Viali is dying, Cremonese is back up, giving maybe a little bit more attention to them. They have one of the rarest color com com combinations with red and gray. And if you are a long term viewer of my channel, you know how much I do not like gray. And I also, but I've never managed it, I have, have to say that the Cremonese crest while up close looks actually not so bad. Um, from a distance it always looks a little bit like, like a mess and un unidentifiable. That's my uh, biggest uh, gripe with Cremonese. I would like that they put, you know, make it a little bit more modern looking in, in, in a way. They are like Spezia, equipped by Acerbis, or Acerbis, however you want to uh, like. Um, or a service, I think a service is how I, 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 I will call it. I think they're a Swiss company delivering a classic striped kit in the classic club stripes. It's not my, as I said, my favorite colors, and it does have the one thing that I do not like with striped shirts, especially if you have white in there. Um, it's not necessary to have the box, the box takes it down. Other than that, there's an Absolutely nothing offensive about this one. This is about as classic as a striped kit as you can have. Nice color. Maybe we could be a V here, uh, but you know, overall it's quite nice. It's just that the stripe, uh, the the bar here, the box, if you like, and the two sponsors annoy me here a little bit more. So I'm gonna start out with a seven here. Uh, I was surprised to see the away jersey uh, going white with uh, like like a pink color. But then when you look at it, it actually looks really, really nice. A, a, a old school color. I don't know where it's got. I guess there's some historical precedent there because, you know, in Italy pink was seen. Juventus were wearing pink as the color of youth. So I could see maybe some connection there. So it has a very historic look, except for the sponsors, which is everything but uh, historic. But I gotta say, this is a nicer jersey. Not sure if I would pick it out if I had to get a Cremonese shirt, but it's a nicer jersey, so I'm gonna go uh, eight here. And then the jersey that they famously beat Napoli in the Coppa Italia. 
uh taken in blue and then red and gray also really nice but a little bit going too wild all over it's a little bit confusing to watch that one and so yeah a uh, nice try it's probably the most uh, exciting uh, jervis shirt that i have seen but it doesn't quite do it for me i'm gonna go with a five right here and we're moving a little bit further down into tuscany where we have Empoli with a, uh, you know, classic copper shirt. There is nothing else on there. I mean, uh, previous season they had a lion. Now we have a centralized crest to make room for a sponsor similar to At uh, Atalanta. And then again, the Computer Gross, which is their sponsor for like forever. Nothing actually exciting about this jersey. It's actually so boring and so, 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 so bad without being offensive that I, I don't know where, where to go, but I actually want to go for because it is the sponsors take to take over. The crest is invisible here and you can definitely make the same argument about the away jersey. However, the crest pops a little bit more here. That's why I'm going to give this a five star, but it's not my favorite by any stretch of the imagination. The third jersey, and also note that the sponsor now already for the away jersey was different. The third jersey tries to do something a little bit more adventurous, but is it better? Nah. You know, at least make the crest also pop a little bit more. Honestly, would have improved the jersey. I'm sorry, Empoli, I really would want to like your jerseys, but um, they just leave. It's just too standard. There's just nothing particular on there. When you had the lion on there, there was at least something to look at. But here, no. Uh, if you do, like put the cathedral that he had in your old cell crest but um, like, like this it just doesn't do it again i'm gonna give it five stars but uh, not it's nothing really to write home about no i, I, I actually want to give four because it's a color mess especially with the uh, sponsor logo in there you could have made the sponsor uh, singly colored so we are through with the <laughs> easy clubs let's go to a team that releases way too many shirts in napoli uh ea7 again going wacko but i have to say after releasing the 14th shirt the napoli home jersey is definitely one of the nicest ones in Serie A and very high on my list of want halves I really like how they did the sleeves with the gradient and yes I actually prefer a Napoli at home you know put a little bit white but this really looks cool I have have so with the different colors there's kind of this rainbow effect it's a little bit like Roma's lollipop jerseys and then there is a pattern on the jersey which is just the crest applied over and over over again but it gives some structure to it the one thing is letter in white would look better of course they don't do this but other than that, uh, it's a jersey that I absolutely love despite the double sponsor uh, this is a standard Georgia jersey and with Napoli on the way at the time of shooting this to a Scudetto, uh, it is definitely, may, it may make it even more stand out. So I'm going to give this nine stars. We got to go a little faster because there are many. I think the away jersey, like it almost as much. The problem is that the letter sticks out a little, a little bit more, takes it down a notch and maybe, um, you know, why the light blue is nice. I think taking the same gradient from the home jersey and just make a white uh, body would have looked a little bit nicer, but I still like the idea a whole lot. I, I'm actually, I, I probably give it down to seven because I think it could look a teeny bit stronger and the double sponsors here bother me a little bit more. The third jersey is a little bit more nondescript. I don't know what this wavy pattern should, should be. It has no connection to Napoli vault whatsoever. Again, the letter sticks out a little bit too much. Not my, in, initially my, my, my favorite. This is where we are now losing Napoli a little bit. Um, it's for me just a five star. I think there have been nicer, really dark Napoli jerseys. You will be surprised to hear that I actually do like the Halloween jersey. And I like it because you take the club colors and then you just put the bats all over. Yes, it is tacky. Yes, everything. But honestly, when you see it, see it in play, it looks Napoli. The previous one was black with red. You didn't know what this is. But this one actually looks like a Napoli shirt, um, which makes it better. And a gradient made out of bats i don't know there is something about this this jersey that i actually do enjoy and they were very 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 a few times uh in october and and so on and of course do we doing well this is a jersey 
that I have kind of a list, and it's the only Napoli jersey, uh, ex ex except for third jersey, it doesn't have this gradient on the shoulder as well. Or maybe we'll see another one. But this was the one was the first one. It looks a little bit more standard. I like the home jersey a whole lot better. But this one is not bad. But because it's tacky, I'm gonna give it only a seven stars. And now we're going really, really, really in the doldrums. The Christmas jersey, it was only worn in, 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 in friendly. The little amount of effort that was put in, into that. And then the red, it is just horrific. It is really, really horrific. Of course, my girls like it a whole lot. And yes, it's cute. This should never be released. I give this one star. And honestly, the um, Valentine's Day jersey, that's a new idea. I do actually like the shoulders. It's just the kiss. WTF. Really, WTF, what were you, you thinking uh, that, yeah, they just wore this losing to uh, Cremonese in the cup at home. I'm sure they were there, but it's a little, 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 little bit more often. I think without the kiss, this has potential because it actually fits with the letter sponsor and uh, this has potential, but the, 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 the lips just, it's, ah. I am sorry. Because otherwise, if you just have this white and, and so on, this would actually look nice. I'm giving this three. I actually would have, no, for Valentine's Day jersey, at least put a heart somewhere in there and not so, you know, just take a gift. That's that's where I have a problem with, with, with this one. Three is the highest I can go with this one. Let's go to a team that usually produces nice jerseys and know how to do that, and that's Roma. New Balance, I think it's the second one by New, by New New Balance, and I liked last season's shirt. It was rather simple. Uh, this one takes a little bit more. It has kind of a half-half design with this uh, look that I'm not sure, it does it look really stylish or is it a little bit too much? But I'm erring on the first side. Maybe what New Balance never get, gets right is the mannequin or whatever they are. Pictures always look, looks a little bit odd, but overall I think this is quite a nice jersey. I do like it's a little bit different for Roma. Uh, you have the club's colors in in their responses. All I'm, I'm finding a like. I'm finding a big like for this one. I think it's one of the stronger uh, looking jerseys in this season. Let's go with a nine star right here. Then the away jersey, a little bit too simple. Let's. Especially taking all the color out of the crest, it just makes it, it's just too boring. Honestly, and the uh, neck doesn't really say, save it. If there were at least sleeve cuffs, like last season we had the big colored sleeve cuffs and, and so on. This one, there's nothing there except maybe a shadow pattern that's kind of a diagonal uh, splashes. Nah. Back to, to, to the drawing board. There is too little effort. I actually am gonna give this four because it, it really doesn't uh, tickle my fancy in any way. And the third jersey also doesn't tickle my fancy in any way. This is actually almost downright offensive because why is, where is the pink coming from? Where is the pink coming from? Really? If this was the Roma red, I actually could, 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 could get bought for, uh, with it. But overall, this is not so great. The one thing that this jersey actually does have that is really cool is the crest because it changes from the ASR to the actual Ro Roma logo in pink. So in that sense, it's an outstanding jersey, but yeah, the rest is not outstanding at all. It's a little bit futuristic, if you ask me. For that reason, I'm also gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give this three stars. I cannot believe I'm giving so low grades to Roma overall because, I mean, Roma usually produce nice jerseys i think the fourth jersey and i'm not sure if this was ever worn in match or maybe it was worn also in friendly and it was i think a collaboration was it with areas or, or whatever that was a little bit more potential uh, a classic fourth jersey stuff has a whole lot of patterning going on uh but i like kind of this uh dyed effect on the side with the yellow and then you have a black side doesn't look bad. It's actually a pretty cool jer jersey, and I'm glad it's a fourth jersey because a home jersey. That, no, absolutely no way. Uh, but the way it looks here, I have to say this has some potential. Is it a, is it the greatest Roma jersey ever? No, I think some might disagree with me, but I'm gonna go seven on this one here. 
and we're gonna end it with Sassuolo. And boy, this does Puma mess up Sassuolo. I actually had a re recent chance to buy last season's Sassuolo kit, and I look at it, it just doesn't look like anything. Kappa did better with them. And again, it's this blocking by uh, Puma, and you know, go to my La Liga jersey review where we uh, watch Girona. This, what uh, Sassuolo is doing is very similar. At least we have here hit a stress, but then the blocking up top, make it all striped. What's so hard to do it all striped? It just, it, it doesn't know what it wants to be, honestly. Uh, it is in all kind of the, 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 the directions. I think we saw in France a uh, similar jersey with loss. I don't get it. I really don't get it. The nice thing is that it has the club's color, so we give it a four star, but uh, Sassuolo has looked definitely better in previous seasons. And the away jersey uh, just doesn't endear itself in any way. That's Girona. I mean, one quarter here, one quarter here, and then we have a ban. No, that's not how you do it. Please, Puma, can you for once behave three stars for this one? And yeah, the fourth jersey is the best one, except that we have maybe a few pinstripes, too many. The one thing, it actually, I like the session, maybe even the diagonal pinstripe, but the one thing that really looks weird is below the black is another green pinstripe. Does this need to be there? Wouldn't it be nice if this was all black? But I think as far as the solar jerseys goes, this is the best one. And there's something uh, really cool in there. So yes, I'm gonna be a little bit better here. I actually wanna give this. I th I think the color comp is underrated. Sassolo has has been wearing stuff like that, so I actually like it. I give it seven stars. I went rather fast through all this, but you know, you see, there's not much wear variation. It was all kind of easy. I really wanna like to know which jerseys you liked in this video here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!